Gaganyaan uncrewed orbital space mission will happen in the first half of 2025. The government is now confirming this development and the probable date could be between March and August this year. This is what CNN News 18 is learning. Well, the success of this uncrewed mission will be a big milestone in India's space history and could determine the launch of the Gaganyaan's manned mission sometime in 2026. This critical endeavour will pave the way for India's human spaceflight program aiming to validate systems for the crew safety and recovery. Four astronauts are already training for the three-day mission for which they will go to space to orbit 400 kilometers and return to Earth by landing in the Indian sea waters. But before these astronauts go into space, we will have an uncrewed mission this year and to monitor this uncrewed mission, ISRO will be sending ships carrying scientists to be stationed at observation points in the Pacific Ocean and the North Atlantic Ocean. This is India's most ambitious space project. ISRO is describing this uncrewed mission as a scientific experiment titled the Gaganyaan G1 mission which will be carried out from Sriharikota. To support the mission, two ships from two different locations, the Pacific Ocean and the North Atlantic Ocean will be deployed with full equipment to support the crew operations. ISRO will be establishing hybrid communication circuits from the ships to the MOX Extract and the SEC Extract in Bengaluru both of which incidentally played a crucial role in Chandrayaan-3. A consignment with a ship-borne terminal, electronic equipment, MVSAT antennas and its associated subsystems will be sent abroad from ISTRAC for deployment on these chartered ships. While this scientific experiment being a new development and considering the system's readiness, the date of the experiment is scheduled between March 1, 2025 and August 31, 2025 as per documents seen by CNN News 18. For the observation point in the North Atlantic Ocean, ISRO will send the ISTRAC consignment from the nearest Indian port to a New York port by cargo shipment. The charter vessel from New York will then sail to a location in North Atlantic Ocean which is 3,000 kilometers away and will take 13 to 14 days to complete this journey. The ISRO team of eight officials will join the vessel at the original point in New York and sail to the observation point. Tracking activities for the mission will be for a maximum period of three days. All ISRO equipment will be deployed on the vessel deck under the supervision and guidance of the team of scientists. They will sail along with the equipment on the chartered vessel to support the mission and may operate the equipment daily while on their way to the observation point. The vessels will reach the observation point in the North Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean at least two days before the starting date of the mission and it will be positioned at the observation point for three days and during the mission support dynamic positioning enabling system will be enabled in multiple sessions for a maximum cumulative duration of around 15 hours. There are other major ISRO missions slated for 2025. These include two GSLV missions, a commercial launch of LVM-3 and a much-awaited ISRO-NASA collaboration on the NISAR satellite which are slated for the coming months. The GSLV F-15 mission in January will carry the NVS-02 navigation satellite to augment the NAV-IC constellation, bolstering India's positioning and navigation capabilities with indigenously developed atomic clocks. In February, the GSLV F-16 mission will launch NISAR, a sophisticated Earth observation satellite co-developed with NASA. Equipped with advanced radar imaging technology, NISAR will provide critical data on agriculture, natural disasters and climate monitoring. The commercial LVM-3 M5 mission is set for March, which will deploy the Bluebird Block 2 satellites under contract with the US-based AST Space Mobile. This will underscore ISRO's growing stature in the global space market. Overall, an exciting period of the first six months awaits us as ISRO sets pace in the space market.